Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here's the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, from your favorite niche real estate Buy, sell, raw land website, www.thelandgeek.com. Land Geek Nation. I'm really excited because today, sporting a t-shirt. Usually he does this with no t-shirt. But now I get to look at him on Skype with a t-shirt. But he's not feeling so great. We're going to hear more about that. The man, the myth, the guy we all aspire to become, living off the beach, in Carlsbad, California, the owner of LandHub.com, ReserveLand.com, and several other projects, Jaron Frazier. Jaron, what's up, buddy? How are you, buddy? I'm good. What's going on with you and uh, the house? No, what? actually, I'm f- I'm feeling a lot better. Um, so no, just the last week or two, I just uh, I've I've got a an allergy to mold, which I've had since I was a young kid. And, uh, and if you, if, if those of you who have allergies, I'm sure there's several of them out there, uh, know that when you have certain things that trigger you and you have asthma, uh, it can, it can be sort of a, an uphill battle getting, getting better. And, uh, so last week and a half or so, I've just been dealing with some, uh, breathing issues and, um, my asthma sort of come back. And we think there's some mold issues in the house and nothing major, but just stuff that I probably have to address. Um, cause there's mold just about everywhere, especially in places like San Diego when it can get a bit moist. Um, so anyway, but, uh, yeah, I'm doing much better and, uh, on the up and up trying to, we got my, my, one of my youngest, uh, my youngest little boys got some, uh, some issues as well. And he's just been dealing with a cough in the house last month. And I think again, it's all probably just allergy related, but, uh, that's, that's life, buddy. That's just life. Nice. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're, you're feeling better. So were you able to do anything this week? Like what's going on with, with real estate and your, your, your companies Did every, was everything on hold? It was, it was. You know, it's funny because I, I actually took, we, we have an RV and uh, it's, it's, it's a kind of a blessing for us because if we have a situation like this, we can just jump in the RV and go to the campgrounds. And we live about a mile away from a couple of different campgrounds, one, one in South Carlsbad, which is on the beach. I, I call it the cheapest real estate in San Diego because you can get a camp spot on the beach for like 35 bucks a night. Nice. So we, we'll book, a, we'll book a, uh, a campsite and this time of year you can find some campsites last minute. So, uh, so yeah, I, I've still got some work done. In fact, I've, uh, I've been dumping a lot of land. I, I probably in the last mm, three weeks, I've dumped more land than I've dumped in a long time just because I'm trying to move stuff that I don't have time to focus on. Wait, what do you mean uh, dump? Like you're liquidating it? Correct. Are you, correct. are you going to like wholesalers and just saying, here, I've got bulk property or are you so, selling it yourself? Correct. No, I'm going to wholesalers that, that, uh, that I've dealt with in the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not everything, just a handful of stuff that, uh, that I just don't have time to focus on. And, uh, which again, in, in my situation, it's not a, a matter of, can I sell it for a profit? Because a lot of the stuff, which I did, but, but, but I just don't have the time. And that to me, um, it's been sort of my challenge is I want to, I want to focus on the properties that I know I can sell and sell quick. And when you've got a portfolio of 200 or 300 properties, it's just, it gets a bit challenging. Right. Right. So what's going on with your VA team or are, are you doing this like, You've got so many different moving parts with so, so many different companies. Is there overlap? And what about the guy you hired? Didn't you hire somebody to kind of help res- run reserve? I did. I did. And he's, he's kind of come in. He's, a little, he's running a little bit slow right now because he's trying to sort of uh, simultaneously do his, do his own thing. And, uh, and so he's, he's come in. He's working on some, uh, some uh, marketing strategies and that kind of stuff. But, um, but to be honest with you, um, I haven't seen sort of like – I think he's still trying to figure out his niche. And that's going to take – you know, that's going to take a couple of months to get there. Okay, so you so you're patient. You're not you're not like we need results next thirty days or you know I'm, I'm finding someone else. I'm in I'm in no rush, Mark. Okay, that's nice. That's yeah. that, that's a that's a good situation to be in, um, because you know I'm, the the learning curve when you hire a new employee is high. I mean that's that's really the hardest part of growing a business, wouldn't you say? Is correct. Is kind of you know leveraging yourself, finding someone who's an A player. And then you've got to, you've got, you've, you're already stretched, right? You don't have a lot of time yourself. And then you've got to take the time to teach somebody how to do what you do. And it's frustrating because 
clearly there's a learning curve. They're not going to be nearly as good at it as you are. And so you're taking this leap of faith that you're going to take, spend all this time, all this energy, and this guy is going to go out and hopefully get the results you need. And it's tough, right? It is. It is. And I think the, the, the benefit for me is that I don't have to pay this guy. He sort of paid on performance. So um, and now, now – Yeah, but even sort of, still, that's and that's a – that could be a double-edged sword because exactly, yeah, exactly, and no, and you're right, and so I think, it, but for me, again, it's not my obviously, you know, most most people know that that my my main source of income comes from about five different sources, not one. So for me, it's not a it's not a you know, if I if I have to give an extra month to sort of figure out what his niche is, I'm okay with that. Well, let me ask you this: Why not hire five of these guys? Because there's not five of them out there. What are you talking about? There's always somebody who wants to hustle and make That's money. True. This guy's been in the game for 12 years already. So, Okay, so when you say the game, he hasn't been in our land game. He's been in what game? He's been in the land game, sir. He's been in the land game. Yes. So you took a struggling land guy and said... Not struggling at all. Well, he's doing it himself. Yeah, I can't. And now he's going to help you. I can't. I know, I know this person, Any other obviously. information other than that, sir. You can keep... I, I know, I know who it is. You get no names and numbers from me, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... I'm going to ping him on Facebook and be like, oh, you're funny. You're well, that's funny. great. Yeah. That's great. So why the secrecy? You don't want there, me to know? There's just certain people I got to keep quiet for legal reasons. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. So this is a full-time land guy that's also going to help run your business. Correct. On, commission, on a got, commission basis. Correct. He's He's got a full-time job with another company and and it's not land related now. So he got out of the land game doing some other stuff. And, Why would uh, anyone get out of the land game? What happened? Uh, it's a long story. It's a long story. There's there's some legalities behind it. It's a long story. Is there um, a divorce involved? Yes. Yes. Oh, well, there you go. Yes. Okay. So, anyway, um, that being said, um, so I I'm I'm excited to see where it goes, um, but I'm giving I'm giving him time to sort of like I said find the niche for for me and what you know what he's really good at selling and he's got he's got a list that he's built over the years. So he's got kind of everything in place, and it's just a matter of, matter of getting that wheel spinning. All right, great, great. Let's talk okay. about the two-day boot camp. Let's do it. So I just put up a, a tally on Facebook for the Gold Mastermind members, and I was like, you know, what do you, what do you guys want to, to learn about? And interestingly enough, th- I did this yesterday. No one's responded yet. But th- these are the questions. Let me ask you. What would you want to hear about on the two-day boot camp? List building, Facebook marketing, understanding analytics, advanced selling strategies, what exactly to outsource to your VA team, deal walkthroughs, advanced wholesaling, creative negotiating. What do you think? Uh, Facebook marketing. Face. So number one for you would be Facebook marketing. I think so. I think everyone should learn that. Okay, so we're gonna so we'll so we'll do that. We'll do a walkthrough. You'll do that then. You're gonna show them step by step how to run a create an ad on Facebook. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, I'm not gonna teach them my secret tricks. You're not gonna see. Yeah. Why, why would you teach the secret tricks? They're paying I'm money to joking. be there. That's a joke, Mark. That's You're joke. unbelievable. I'm just teasing. Of course, I'll teach them. Yeah, no, it's uh. Where's we'll Where's your abundance mentality? Well, I'm just, I got to start charging. I got to start charging you for it too. Yeah, I know. Um, I've noticed that today. I, um, no, I, I will certainly, you know, sit there and, and sort of walk through the process of, of how to, how to build a, a Facebook campaign and how to think about getting creative, how to target a specific audience, that kind of stuff. All right. What about list building? I think I want to talk about list building. You're a lot better at that than me. So yes. Okay. I, I mean, and, and that actually can be combined with Facebook marketing because you can use your Facebook marketing to build your list. That's what Tori's doing. Yeah. Um, that's and Jeff. I mean, they're they're killing it in yeah. Facebook. Um, I have, I've got a guy doing it for me, so he's going to have to kind of walk me through exactly what he does. But I'm getting tons of opt-ins a day from Facebook. That's awesome. Um, what about understanding analytics? Not that important. Not not worth a, an hour to kind of go through tracking no. pixels nope. and – in learning how, well, I, I think it's important. I think it's important. I think the, the dilemma is you've got a learning curve, 
And, if, and I think for the majority of people in this program, I don't think they're ready for sort of a breakdown in, in analytics and really understanding how, how it works. Okay. So, All right. So, now, so, that, that, that so you, don't, you don't think that's as, as important? Yeah, I just don't think it's a priority. Now, that being said, I still think there's there's something to be said for understanding analytics. But at this point in time, it may be a little too early in the game to be offering that up at the uh, at the at the boot camp. Okay. How about advanced selling strategies? Um, sure. I mean, that's of course that's important. Okay. So but what's it? What, what I mean, why don't you give me a definition? Well, like you know, like what I did as far as how I created through my list a promotion, right? And I did an actual online reverse auction and sold four properties that week. Okay. You know, something like that where, you know, Jeff goes to his list and sets up an auction. And, you know, how does he do that? How do you do that technically? Remember your WordPress plugin to actually run an auction on your site? Uh-huh. Um, well, I, I did something that was, you know, through the Google Hangout and just kind of walk them through exactly how you do that, uh, you know, technically speaking. Yeah. As well as certain ways to get people to, um, I would say get people, like not in a manipulative way, but to offer up um, additional pieces of property to your current customer right after they buy and, yeah. you know, how to structure that so that it's not annoying, right? It's called the upsell, and that's an advanced selling strategy. Got it. But do it, doing so in a way that doesn't annoy your customer. Um right. How about, what about what exactly to outsource? What are the what are the, the key things that you want to have outsourced in this business? Are you for, asking you know, me? Yeah, for three to five dollars. Well, I'm saying we talk about the boot camp. Yeah, no, I think I mean that's. I Do you mean, think that's important? Outsourcing outsourcing is extremely important, and I think for those for those getting involved, it doesn't, and again, it doesn't matter what you're using it for because you could use it for you know simple accounting stuff on your end, whether it's personal accounting, business accounting, whatever it is. There's there's so many value there's so many there's so much value in understanding the outsourced world and what these people in the Philippines, Eastern Europe, India, what these guys can all do for you and what the what this what each country is really good and we talked a bit, little bit about it last boot camp what what these specific countries are are talented at you know like right. India India is not going to be the guys doing your your graphic artwork for anything trust me right um, right the, East, the Eastern Europeans the Eastern Europeans are and the Philip the, in the Philippines they kind of have a little mixture of the you know of India and Eastern Europe and they you know which so we can cover all that stuff but I think it's important for people to understand really understand outsourcing okay okay what, what do you think of this statement you should do everything yourself and create templates training templates after you do it yourself to give to a VA I think, I think I'm going to walk through exactly how I do that. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I use a program on the Mac, and I'll show them exactly how I do that, as well as making videos for my VAs. Got it. For training. Yeah, no, and, it's, like and, it. It, it, you know, and then training them to train as well as they get better. Mm -hmm. So they're templating exactly what they're doing. So you, you're creating like this, you know, all these training uh, files basically to, to give to other virtual assistants. Yep. How about deal walkthroughs? That is a, that's a, a no brainer. We're definitely going to walk through deals step by step from getting the list, mailing and, you know, breaking it down from due diligence to closing to marketing to selling, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. That, yeah, that, that could be like a morning. Yeah, and then t I think Tyler Tyler can definitely touch on like just just the, you know some basic SEO um, topics and uh, and some and he's he's really under good at good understanding influencer lists, okay, like, people, like out like outreach. So okay. people that you can contact to sort of help you build your whether you know if you're if you're running a specific campaign on uh, land in an you know in a, in a solar area whatever you know finding the influencers that can help you from an outreach perspective. Talk to them, you know. Uh, share your information with them, and hopefully they can share your information and get you. Whether it's more people on your list, whether it's a way to you know a better way to sell your land, whatever it is. So he's really good at understanding sort of the influencer lists um, and and how to how to sort of work on the outreach side with that. I love it. I love it. Um, advanced wholesaling. Should we have a module on advanced wholesaling for the people that you know when you first get started and you don't have a lot of money. This could be a quick way to generate a lot of cash really fast. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. 
Do you want to do a module on that? Or do you want me to do the module? I want you to. You want me to. Okay. And I already have all the slides because I already have a program uh, for that. So advanced wholesaling for sure. How about creative negotiating? Um, which, which would be more like, you know, the takedown deals that we do, you know, buying in bulk. I mean, of course, I think we'll touch on that in a lot of different topics, to be honest. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you make it, you make it an actual course inside the program, but I mean, maybe you do. Well, maybe I mean, this do. is for the boot camp, not necessarily the, the investor's toolkit. That's what I mean. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean. Yeah, this is, this is all different from, I mean, it, the investor's toolkit, this is going deeper into the investor's toolkit, basically. So, Mark, for those who don't have the toolkit. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go over the toolkit as well. But most of the people, I think, in the room are going to already have the toolkit because it includes two free tickets. Yeah. Don't you think? No, I think so. But I think there's going to be several people buying, buying tickets as well. So. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go over the toolkit as well. I mean, we're talking about, what, 18 hours of content here. Yeah. So, and then you've got your, your networking as well. I mean, you know, the people that, co that come to the boot camps, they're always saying, you know, they love the material and they love meeting us, but they really love the networking. You know, these yeah. guys stay in touch with each other. Guys yeah. and gals, I should say. Yeah. And um, it's, you know, it's important guys, you know, it, it, we're, we're, we're sort of in a niche industry where there's not that many players that are doing this kind of stuff. Right. Uh, you know, I, I'll bet you that there's no more than there's probably less than 500 people or a thousand people in this country that are sending out that are sending out, um, uh, you know, postcards to tax. The, I mean, do you think it's higher than that, Mark? I honestly, I, I, I don't think many people are doing this niche because because I've received there are like five guys that I've received letters from. Right. You know, and they'll you know there'll be like a property or two that I'll you know I'll. I'll, I, I don't get the tax bill that, you know, it comes late, whatever. And I get, and I'll get, and I get maybe three, three or four letters uh, from different guys a year. And I've got hundreds of properties. So, it, you know, I just don't think that there's that many guys doing it out there. There, there definitely isn't. And, you know, the reason being is um, there's, there's no, there's no, uh, you know, buzz about this. You go on HGTV or DIY network or Bravo, it's flip this house, this and flip this house, that. And yeah, and it's all about housing. Yeah. And land is really just on the periphery. It's like, no one thinks about it. It's, it's this great niche. No one knows about it. It's like secret. Yeah. And obviously everyone that's in our community, if you're in the land geek community, you don't want anybody to know about it either, right? You're not going to yeah. go out there and tell everybody. Well, when Mark, you don't when Mark want, and I you, started this, yeah. I think, what, 15, whatever, 12 years ago, I remembered that my mouth was – and for me, obviously, I'm a social butterfly. And I like to talk way too much. But for some reason, I was just as, as tight-lipped as you could get because I didn't want any competition. Right. And then I, and then I realized that, that in six months, everyone's going to figure it out anyway. So, so I just need to evolve into something that people aren't. And that's just kind of, you know, it's like a, like, it's like a real estate agent, right? Every single one of us have gotten letters or postcards in the mail from real estate agents, right? Well, why do you work with one agent uh, compared to another? Well, either one is he's your friend or, or, you know, or two, you, you like what he had to offer different than what the other postcard said, right? Right. So, so you've got to, you've got to different, dif differentiate yourself when it comes to, what your offer is or how you how you make that offer get creative so and those are the things like you, you know they're they're going to get multiple postcards from people that want to buy their tax defaulted the property so what differentiates you from them right exactly exactly yeah i mean i've got uh, a coaching student and he's he's got a company called uh, blackbeard properties right and it's got like he's got like a pirate theme and it's so creative and he's got like, you know, you call up and it's a pirate answering the phone and he's got the pirate voice going and it's professional and fun at the same time. And I'm thinking to myself, this guy, when he gets ramped up, he's going to start crushing it because people are going to want to do business with him because he's just, he's got that fun factor going, you know what I mean? Versus other people that might be just more vanilla and yeah. not as fun to work with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a, of a different example in a different industry 
where it's just kind of you know you know you've got it's fun. Um, you know what's coming to mind is like the Apple Store. Yeah, or like the or the CarMax of car buying, right? Like you go to a CarMax store and it's just you know it, it's more enjoyable walking into an atmosphere uh, where you don't have you know ten used car salesmen hounding you. Uh, it's just a, it's just a really simple, enjoyable process. Like Apple, you walk in, smart people, they talk to you. It's an environment that looks nice right. uh, inv- and inviting. So yeah, and, uh, and it's simple, and you're not you're not overwhelmed, right? Yeah. yeah. Like Which you, is, go to a, which, you go to a Fry's Electronics and you walk in and you're overwhelmed. My gosh, there's so many computers here. Yeah, you know, um, and I get that question a lot. I was going to ask you about it. How many? You know, we've got hundreds of properties, but I only list maybe you know a handful of them on my site. Only to avoid overwhelm for the customers. What do you What do you do? Look at my website. I have probably ten, twelve properties up there, and I have a lot of them that, that are the same. And and uh, and and occasionally I'll have one on there, and I'll leave it. Uh, you know, because I have a similar property, I'll leave it as it's as as showing that it's still available, but it's sold. And then I'll just talk to you know the customer and tell them I've got another one. Uh, you know, that's similar or like it, and and then I'll just go and rotate and change things. But yeah, of course, I don't. You don't put if I've got two or three hundred properties and I've only got twelve on the website. You know. Um, you can understand there's there's a reason why you don't want to overwhelm a customer with multiple properties. Yeah, I'm going to give you a million dollar marketing tip right now. What's that? Write this down. What's that? This this is huge. Uh oh. Woot dot com. Woot. I know Woot. Yeah, and they bought they got bought by Amazon. This is a this is a brilliant strategy that literally prevented anyone from being overwhelmed. One inexpensive product a day, one promotion a day, with funny copy. Right, so Woot was fun to read. They had a cool product. They, you know, they'd go out and they're still doing it. And you know, they would go to the closeouts or whatever, buy up all this product, and once it was sold out, it was sold out, and you're done. So, what did they had built in? Let's look at the elements of this. Right, you've got fun copy, so it's fun to buy. You've got one item, right? You've got mm-hmm. built in scarcity because once they're sold out, they're sold out. Yeah. Right. So yep. Woot's training their customers that yeah, here's a cool thing to keep coming back to. So it's sticky because you want to see what the next product's going to be, right? Yep. And <laughs> if it's for you, great. You can get it at a discount. Why don't we do the same thing with land? One fun promotion a day. If you don't have much land, you can even do one a week. You can do one a month, but you're training your your list – to go to this separate site where you've got one fun piece of property that you're selling um, a day, a week, a month, whatever, how much, however much inventory you have. What do you think? You I, don't, you I, don't like the idea. No, I do. I just think uh, land is just so much different. I mean, I can sell if I if I've got a if I've got a Chromebook, uh, you know, that that I'm offering, and I've got five thousand Chromebooks. When they sell out, then they sell out. But with well, land, you do, you have yeah, one, I, I agree. But I'm saying, you know, either you're going to people. That you know are interested in buying land, so you're talking to your customers that have already bought from you, right? You're talking to people that have already opted into your list, yeah. And you could go out externally, and you know you can do a very targeted group on Facebook that are interested in buying, and selling land, yeah, right, or buying land. Yeah. No, I, I look. I, like I said, I think I think there's so many different ways that you can market. There's so many different ways of being creative and actually making making a success out of your business by having two pieces of land compared to someone that has fifty pieces of land. You just right. gotta you've got to create that. Um, what's what's the what's the word, Mark? Um, you, you know what I'm talking about. You sort of you sort of the the, the hype is that the word I'm looking for. You sort Are of you like the, the buzz. Yeah, the buzz, the hype around your property. Like why why is this? Oh, it's only here for three days and then it's gone. Right. 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 So, yeah. So yeah, the scarcity which, element I love, which is the e, which is kind of the eBay thing, right? You put something on eBay, and in seven days, someone's gonna buy it. Exactly. Exactly. So and and it's gone, and then right. And then yeah. Can, I mean, the, the only problem there's two problems with eBay. Number one, you're not gonna get the highest price. Yeah. Right. But I'll tell you what, when you first start, I love eBay because you can, you start building your buyers list from there, and then you start promoting to them. Correct. You know the only the only question is is that eBay buyer only interested in a deal. Right, mm-hmm. and then the second problem with eBay is that a major, you know, I would say, I mean, there's a, I don't know what the percentage is, but there is a percentage that they'll win the bid and then they won't pay, and you're yep. kind of out your advertising fee. And that happens enough, you get kind of tired of it. Yeah. But it's, you know, fa- it's it's fast. Craigslist, yep. I think, is you know, thirty days to sell. eBay seven, seven yep. to ten. 
and, and you know, one of the things about eBay and what's frustrating is too, people, people take pictures or steal your pictures. I, I found actually, what was it like a week and a half ago? I was doing, I was putting up an ad and then I, and somehow next to it, like, you know, similar, similar properties and it shows a property that's nowhere near mine with my pictures. And, yeah. uh, and I got so frustrated I was, and I emailed the guy and found out that it was a guy that I'd actually sold a piece of property to totally in a, in a total different spot in a different county, um, of the state. And, and I even, and one, I think one of our guys in the office emailed him and basically said, um, uh, I think stop, you know, stop using our photos. And he, he never replied back, but he tried to call the office. And I thought, you know what? It's just like, go, you know, don't steal people's pictures. That's the frustrating part too, right? You do these eBay, you know, you, you go on eBay. It doesn't matter where you go, whether it's eBay or Landwatch, wherever you're marketing, people can take your pictures. Right. But, you, um, you can watermark your pictures, but even still, yeah. it's, you know. And, and that's the challenge about a place like, you know, a website like eBay. Because if there's if there's thirty Nevada properties and three of them have the same photos, uh, and only one of them is the real the real you know people could get confused. And that's why I think that's why prices sort of been driven down as well. Is that they're just everyone thinks that the one property is like the rest of them, and it's not right, the, right, yeah, exactly. There's nothing special about it. It's just you know it's it's the flea market. And and Mark sort of helped create that flea market on eBay, which is really uh, unique <laughs> in the sense that. He sort of liquidated some properties years back, and uh, yeah, I made I made I made a big mistake. We'll, we'll talk about that big mistake at, <laughs> at the boot camp. All right, we're at that time of the podcast. I love yes. putting Duran on the spot. He's completely unprepared. Completely. All right. What is your tip of the week? So many people that know sort of how to use a computer uh, know how to maybe use Photoshop a little bit, tweak photos, throw some text on a photo. Um, but don't have or don't want to pay for Adobe's cloud um, Photoshop. There's a program, a free graphic program called GIMP, and it's gimp.gimp.org, O-R-G. Let me, let me and, check this out. And GIMP basically allows you to download a, a program <coughs> excuse me, and, and, and utilize a lot of aspects of what Photoshop has and go on pictures and write text and – color and do different things to the photo pretty cool little pro program um i've been using it for quite some time oh, and i love it it may not be the best program out there but i know it's still top 10 of graphic free graphic programs out there that uh that you can utilize so when i'm just used to it now but it's a program that that sort of supersedes uh you know or 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 allows you to avoid having to pay uh that fee with adobe or adobe cloud to get you know and it's funny because you know adobe basically now they're so smart right the Microsofts, the everything's on, everything's cloud based, right? Right. Because you used to be able to simply copy a disk and download Photoshop on your computer, and there's no, you can't do it anymore. You have to pay their cloud, and they must be making so much more money now, because nobody wanted to pay seven hundred bucks for Photoshop back in the day. So you'd all, you know, you get three buddies to chip in, they'd all split it, and then uh, somehow that seat, that that disk would get out, and uh, next thing you know, fifty people have have uh, bootlegged that copy of Photoshop. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, this is great. I, you know, this is definitely for somebody who's more into photography. I think a quicker solution is what I use, which is Skitch, um, which is also free and yep. uh, syncs up with Evernote pretty well. And, you know, obviously you can pay their little subscription if you really start doing it. But this is great. Great tip. Thanks, dude. Great tip. I appreciate it. So, Mark, what, what's your tip of the week, buddy? All right. So, my tip of the week is phenomenal. This is, no, this is no. the second million. Wait, hold on, folks. Hold on. Wait for it. No, really. You're going to love this. You ready? Go for it. Okay. Remember when I was talking about IFTTT.com? Yes. Which automates the web? Yes. Okay. So, this is automating the web, but for business. Okay? Exactly. So, it's called Zapier.com. Or Zapier.com. I don't know how they pronounce it. Z A P I E R dot com. It is free depending on the programs you use. And it's easy to do. It's easy to set up. You can already just put in to Zapier the programs that you're using. Aweber, YouTube. Um, I have to go to my Zapier account and let you know how I'm doing this. But like, here, I'll give you an example. Like I do the coffee talk videos, right? So Zapier automates my Coffee Talk video and immediately makes it a blog post without me having to do anything. Cool. It's really cool. And, yeah, again, it's free. So For how long? For, well, you, you get so many zaps, right? So you get – so for the free account, you get 185 tasks 
and you get five zaps. So a zap would be like, you know, coffee talk video to W to WP posts. That's one zap, right? I've got another zap where I take base camp attachments and put them in the Dropbox. That's another zap. So that automatically happens without me having to do anything. Automation. You should check it out. You can you can explore zaps, make a new zap. Um, it'll do tons of stuff. I mean, yeah, just explore right now. Uh, you've got Gmail, Google Docs, Google Calendar, Evernote, Twitter, Dropbox, Facebook pages. And, you know, you can basically, you know, WordPress, Podio, Google Tasks, Zendesk, LinkedIn. And you can, you know, do all this crazy stuff to automate whatever you want to do with it. And, you know, there are some premium ones that you got to pay for, like PayPal is a premium, uh, GoToWebinar is a premium. Um, this uh, cloud-based software program, X-E-R-O, zero is premium. But still, you know what? You know what our most precious resource is, Duran? What's that? Our time. So anything that saves me time, I don't really care about paying for. Anything. Um, so I love it. Check it out and certainly leave us a comment. Let us know how you're using Zapier for your business because I'd like to know. All right, man. Are we good? Anything I think else? We're good. I think we're good, buddy. I'll see you at the boot camp. Yeah. Uh, let me remind everybody, November 7th and 8th, contact the office. Email support at thelandgeek.com. Let us know you're coming. We need to get a good number and know uh, who's coming and who's not. Uh, unfortunately, Scottsdale Conference Center is already sold out of rooms for that weekend, but there's tons of uh, hotels nearby. So again, call the office and we'll help you book uh, a nearby room at a really good rate. Um, and if you don't, if you don't have the, the toolkit, you can go to landconvention.com. Yeah, yeah exactly. Go to landconvention.com. Exactly. And tickets, and tickets are $195. And if you really want to sit down with me and Mark and pick our brains, we're going to do a VIP dinner event. And I think that VIP dinner event is 495 correct, Mark? That's correct. And that includes dinner, and um, so yeah. Right. And I mean, I mean, think about that. You, you're you're having dinner with us. I mean, that's like a, a an inexpensive mastermind. You can ask yeah. us anything you want. Yeah, anything. Anything. It doesn't, have, it doesn't even have to be land related. It it shouldn't be land related, actually. Exactly. <laughs> I, agree. I agree. Right. All right, Mark. All right, bud. All right. So let's remind everybody. We got we got the land landconvention.com, November seventh and eighth. Start booking now. It's coming up very very soon. We've got less than a month. Um, or actually, yeah, exactly. So uh, do that. And look, give Duran some love. Check out landhub.com. Go to reserveland.com. Give us some love. Leave us a comment on iTunes. Let us know how we're doing. And if Duran doesn't have any wholesale land, check out my site, frontierpropertiesusa.com. And always, if you want to more learn more tips, tricks, techniques, about our lucrative land niche, go to www.thelandgeek.com. Land Geek Nation, thanks so much for listening. Duran, thanks again for uh, your time. Thank and you, sir. we'll see everybody next week. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.